there's a lot of there's a lot of evidence that is coming up recently that's showing that we was already here that we are the fucking indians The tens of millions of black Americans, or rather Indians, who disappeared in 1492 did not all die in the Holocaust inflicted within America. Hundreds of thousands were shipped to Europe and Africa as Indian slaves. Most people know that the first slaves in the state of New Jersey, sold in the state of New Jersey, were my ancestors. There were no Africans of any sizable amount in North America at that time. The slaves they continued to hound about being escaped slaves were Indians. And when we ran away to such an extent to cow us, they sent us to the West Indies to teach us and beat us and to learn us into good slaves and send us back if we made it. These people did such a good job. I would assume it was Mr. Willie Lynch's uh, plantation that when they got the science down correctly, they began taking the Africans that they couldn't control and sending them to the West Indies. So before this whole idea of cruelty and the diaspora of the Africans began, it began right here in New Jersey on the ramparts. Didn't believe on even it didn't belong somewhere across the sea. It started right here, right here. This part of our history is what the school systems failed to mention in their history program. Aborigine, which means what? Black folks. When they, you never find a white aborigine. Aborigines are called natives, or they're always dark in people. You and I are aborigines, but you don't let them be called an aborigine. Malcolm X stated that the rock landed on us after he returned across the waters because he learned new things. He learned that the rock had truly landed on us and that we were from these lands. Our forefathers weren't the pilgrims. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. The rock was landed on us. The rock was landed on us. Before the pilgrim fathers landed at Plymouth, we were here. Before the Pilgrim Fathers landed at Plymouth, we were here. Before the Pilgrim Fathers landed at Plymouth, we were here. So you got to really know your real history. And then uh, a lot of Asiatics know this, but if they tell that real history, they can't, they can't keep on promoting the diaspora, which is partly fiction. Because they, they didn't bring us from anywhere. We were already here. We were here for thousands of years. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. also stated in his I Have a Dream speech that we are held in exile in our own homeland. The, the Negro is still languished in the corners of American society and finds himself in exile in his own land. Now, uh, we, we have a lot of scholars and, 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 and etymologists uh, out, out there and individuals are missing the point. You, how can you be held in exile in your own homeland without it being your own homeland? Mm. The definition of exile. As a noun, the state of being barred from one's native country, typically for political or punitive reasons. He knew now that he would die in exile. As a verb. Expel and bar from their native country, typically for political or punitive reasons. A corrupt dictator who had been exiled from his country. The definition of native as a noun. A person born in a specified place or associated with a place by birth, whether subsequently resident there or not a local inhabitant, one of the original inhabitants of a country, especially a non-white as regarded by European colonists or travelers. As an adjective, associated with the country, region, or circumstances of a person's birth, of the indigenous inhabitants of a place, synonyms, indigenous, original, First, earliest, aboriginal, autochthonous, the native peoples, 
the definition of indigenous, originating or occurring naturally in a particular place. Native. Synonyms, native, original, aboriginal, autochthonous, the definition of aboriginal, inhabiting or existing in a land from the earliest times or from before the arrival of colonists, indigenous, synonyms, indigenous, native, the definition of autochthonous, of an inhabitant of a place, indigenous rather than descended from migrants or colonists. Unless you are, and you know for a fact that you are, the descendant of somebody that was brought here from Africa as a slave, stop claiming that because most of you are not descendants of Af people that were brought here from Africa as slaves. During the entire, whole entire slave trade, Less than 3% of all the slaves traded, less than 3% of them were brought here from Africa. The slaves they continued to hound about being escaped slaves were Indians. Were Indians. Were Indians. Now, if in fact your ancestors are amongst those people, then claim it and claim it with pride. Because they survived. But stop claiming things that you have no evidence of just because somebody told you in school that that is your story, because they said it's not your story. Because however much America strays away from the ideals of justice, the goal of America is freedom. Abused and scorned though we may be, our destiny is tied up in the destiny of America. Before the Pilgrim Fathers landed at Plymouth, we were here. Before Jefferson etched across the pages of history the majestic words of the Declaration of Independence, we were here. Before the beautiful words of the Star-Spangled Banner were written, we were here. And for more than two centuries, our forebears labored here without wages. They made cotton king. They built the homes of their masters in the midst of the most humiliating and oppressive conditions. Yet out of a bottomless vitality, they continue to grow and develop. People will say, well, big deal. So what, why is history important at all? History is extremely important. Imagine if, if I could take from each one of you as an individual everything you knew about your life up to last week and just erase it. Where would you be? You, you'd be lost. You, you'd be incompetent. You wouldn't know how to plan for the future. And you do the same thing with a people. If you erase their history or you don't tell enough about their past, they also become incompetent and they can't fulfill the future. And that's why a lot of people in the black community have felt, well, how come all of the dreams of the civil rights movement aren't yet fulfilled? And one reason is because this history is still suppressed. It still isn't taught, but there's been a recent discovery which is going to blow the lid off of all that, and that's what I'm going to talk about. Much of the so-called African slave trade was fabricated and widely exaggerated. There was no trade. An independent source showing that the so-called Indians on the eastern seaboard, also called Terra Nova or Moors, is called a book African and Native Americans by Jack D. Forbes. He shows in the book how many so-called Native American Indians were sold into slavery in Africa and Europe. This is the opposite direction in which we were taught the slave trade went. These Native Americans or Indians were classified as Negroes and Blacks in the slave books of Seville, Spain and elsewhere. On page 29 he says, and I quote, Slaves from Terra Nova show up in the slave markets of Seville and Valencia very soon after 1500. For example, in Valencia during the period 2, 1516, we find in 1503 Miguel Mann, in 1505 Juan and Pedro, and in 1507 Antonio and Juan Amarco. In 1515, Ali, now Melkor, and in 1516, Catalina. They were all classified as Negroes, unquote. 
Now, think about this. If we were first brought to North America around 1619, or even as early as 1555 for that matter, then how were they taking slaves from Newfoundland to Europe, all before 1520? Keep in mind that one of the Native Americans even had the name Ali, and all were classified as Negroes once they reached Yalencia. How did the Native American in 1515 have a Moorish name? Ali. At least 3,000 Americans, so-called Indians, are known to have been shipped to Europe between 1493 and 1501, the Columbus expeditions, with the likely total possibly double that. Most were sent to the Seville area, where they seemed to show up in the slave markets as Negroes. These are major contradictions to the whole slave trade myth. Blacks were always in America. The missing Indians are Negroes. The slaves sold on the slave markets in the South were initially the black people from right here in this hemisphere. As they took the lands here, they enslaved the inhabitants of those lands who were black. The tens of millions of Americans, so-called Indians, who disappeared after 1492 did not all die in the Holocaust afflicted within America. Many thousand were sent to Europe and Africa as slaves. The whole slave trade myth is that the whole story was given to us in reverse. A mass colony of Africans were not shipped from Africa to America, but the truth is that black Indians were shipped from America to Europe. They were then shipped from Spain to Africa as a commodity for African resources. These black Indians, now mistaken as Africans, were shipped back to America and classified as African slaves. This part of our history is what the school systems failed to mention in their history program. So you got to really know your real history. And then uh, a lot of Asiatics know this, but if they tell that real history, they can't, they can't keep on promoting the diaspora, which is partly fiction. Because they, they didn't bring us from anywhere. We were already here. We were here for thousands of years. Or for the reason that they seem to be so forgetful, because that true narrative does not support the sort of enlightened look or the romantic look at America when you consider these people stole the land, enslaved the natives to the degree that most people know that the first slaves in the state of New Jersey sold in the state of New Jersey were my ancestors. There were no Africans of any size in the mountain in North America at that time. The slaves they continued to hound about being escaped slaves were Indians, were Indians, were Indians. 